James Kaufman, World News Report today, ladies and gentlemen. Today is February 16th, 2022, 3 p.m. Central here in the USA. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world, folks. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, we've had a huge far side explosion. They're trying to guesstimate how large it was, but it was beyond any regular X flare that we've seen in a very, very long time. Now, the sunspot that created this explosion will be Earth facing in five to seven days. And, ladies and gentlemen, if something like this were to hit planet Earth, it would be game over. That's how much of a ticking time bomb we're dealing with. A huge far side explosion. Something just exploded on the far side of the sun and it was more than big. NASA's Stereo A spacecraft recorded a magnificent coronal mass ejection emerging during the late hours of February 15th. Newly arriving images from the Solar and Heliospheric Observatory, SOHO, show the CME in greater detail. This is Stereo Ahead Core 2 here, folks. The CME will not hit Earth. It is moving away, not toward our planet. However, if such a CME did strike planet Earth, it could produce a very strong geomagnetic storm. We may have dodged an enormous bullet. But ladies and gentlemen, how is it that these explosions always happen on the opposite side of the sun than Earth? We've gotten more than lucky on more than 50 occasions already. Something's not right. Stereo A has also observed a plume of plasma shooting up from the blast site. It's more than 400,000 kilometers long. What caused this enormous explosion? Helioseismology offers a clue. By analyzing vibrations on the surface of the sun, researchers can make a crude map of the sun's far side. The latest far side image from NASA's Solar Dynamic Observatory reveals a huge active sunspot region. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we used to have a satellite on the back side or the opposite side of the sun, and they say that's been inactive since 2017. You would think with all the launches, we'd have one up there immediately based on what we're facing. But that satellite's never been replaced, although this flare would have wiped it out anyway, right? This came from a huge sunspot group. This is only the second far side active region of this size since September 2017 notes Juan G. Zhou of Stanford University's Hilo Seismology Group. If this region remains huge as it rotates towards Earth-facing side of Sun, it could give us some more than exciting flares. Based on its current location, this far side sunspot could emerge into view over the Sun's northeastern limb in only four to five days. Stay tuned. It will be Earth-facing soon. God bless you and yours, folks. Please share, please subscribe, and always remember anything's possible in Bizarro World. These are the explosions that they're waiting on.